Each they might expect Oscar, but uh, they probably won't expect the second one. There's also shock on site. Oscar getting aggressive, oh. drops the bomb. Oh, he gets a double, but there is Zedko. However, Zedko, oh, his position is known. He shoots him in the leg, and it's going to be Liaz and Azer in a 2v2 to defend the bomb site. The bomb will be planted by Azer. Liaz falling all the way back into Big Pit, and the retake comes up online. They have the kit, they have a smoke. And they have the aim. Will they be able to get it done, though? Azer spotted on site by B-Stick. Jiggling around, but does he expect them already to have crossed in? He finds Neo Frag. B-Stick is overwhelmed by Leas, and that's going to be the site defended by Extrema. I think it's a smart play. Don't play too aggressive just yet, especially when that economy isn't very, isn't very comfortable, let's say. Oh, that is some nice banana aggression. B-Stick gets blinded. Everyone is blinded in banana. Spots him out, gets some tags, but bent at staying alive with 7 HP. Jacob finds... Oscar, he needs to hear shots. They're not... Over. Oh, this could be dangerous. Could work in his favor. Spots the first. He's going to fall back. Manages to stay alive as well, and that's huge. Picking up that kill gives them the man advantage. With bent on low HP, this is a real opportunity for Sinners. Even tag grabs faction behind the wall. He finds himself. Liaz needs some backup. And there's Neofrag. The one, two pounds gets the job done. They hold on to that B bomb. Shock having to double back over towards the other side just to avoid going down to the wall bang. And there's the beacon from Liaz. Overwhelming peak from a double. Those kills secured, luckily enough. Will they check the boost though? That's the big question. He rushes through, finds one, but there's luckily enough B stick finding one as well, making it a two on two retake situation. Two on two, but Oscar still alive with the AWP in hand. He seems to be aware of the plant as well as the rotation comes through. And he finds the first shot on towards Azza. How did he even spot him? He'd be treaded out by Jacob. The MP9 seems to be aware, and it's all a battle of wits here. Goes to the fake flash for the pistol, but it's B-Stick to find the frag. All will be collected as well, and just like that, it's a second round on the ball for Sinners, and what a fashion to do it. Yeah, they managed to uh, hold on with the retake. I mean, I nearby and uh well the shots definitely give it away boost towards oh. banana and oscar quickly hits that shot very cool oh, this is so unfortunate but as it could work in his favor oof yeah he can't risk it that he gets the 180 flick to the side now it's going to be shock all the way in the back of small pit back up from his teammate and big pit jumping around they get both kills and the site is lost they should make a choice a two on three retake there is an op that they could possibly recover if it hasn't been any means a strong long-term economy that we like to speak about this could become a bit of an issue into this next round for the likes of Sinner. Well, banana they try to get a little bit of control oscar's gonna go for an aggressive peak drops the bomb jacob close range oh my god hits the second needs to fall back does not get around the corner in time leah's was too close for comfort and that retake has to be sublime here they're gonna go for the similar plant that we saw earlier the flashbang will come through and it looks like they're gonna go for the boots on towards flower pot but the smoke is starting to fade and already all questions are starting to be asked. The smoke going down. Shock holding the AWP, looking in towards Nubog. Tracks Faction swinging through. Does he spot? He does. The left eye peeking gets the better of Zed Code. It's Gratis Faction to level the playing field at three players apiece. A quick rush towards sight. There's one pillar, one in the shadow. Will they check the corners? Is Bentek? He's going to try and hold strong. He finds himself doing Gratis Faction towards Banana Pick. And that. Quickly looking to go for a waterfall strat. No defense set up at all for it. Luckily, they're shocked towards short taking down Jacob. But there's a lot of targets to deal with right now. Oscar plays right behind the smoke. There's Azer trying to go for the double, but it's shocked with the trade. I know it's all on gratisfaction in the S. I liked their play. The problem is they completely froze in their strategy. They completely froze in pit. Luckily enough, sinners are not really expecting them to to get a bit aggressive there. And now it's going to be a two-on-two -two retake scenario. Liaz on site, falling all the way back, keeping an eye on long. Op shot from Gratis Faction. V6, not even responding at all to that. Towards apps, and he's going to go for a quick run down there. Getting aggressive. Gratis Faction with the AWP very close. Nice. Yeah, well, I still got this best of three to play before... Uh... That sort of opportunity is they could get the frag on towards Azza just like that already. Now a five versus three could be made worse. Oscar oh, swinging oh. through and the control is brilliant. Oh. Five. Oh, swinging in their favor.
God, Jacob is so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Side. In absent oh. seconds, the pop flash perfect from Ventet. Man advantage picked up. Now it's all on Shock. The only A bomb site defender does spot him out. They know he's on the balcony. He still finds a kill though, but he's dropped down to 5 HP, and that's where the problem lies. Because he can't really survive with that amount of aggression. Zedko tries to, uh, grabs faction, tries to get aggressive, but surprisingly up. Might even consider just leaving the A-Sites, considering they're pouncing in. Ben Tetz gets overwhelmed, and there's one inside the smoke as well. That's Jacob crawling up towards Graveyard. They might spot him over the smoke, and that's B-Stick with the headshot. And Leas, as expected, is just going to straight up run towards B. Yeah, and now the one versus three. The priority for him was getting that bomb down, and now how does he play this? The rotation is coming through, and he has a little bit of time to set up. He sold the fake, the flash going over towards that banana position, trying to just sell the fake that that's where he's playing from. Because technically, he is sort of planted for that position. He needs to isolate fights here, though. In a one versus three, this is going to be tough. Swinging through, spotted now. He plans the first frag towards Zeko, but it's near frag in there for the trade. And sinners, they're going to pick up a fourth round, bring this deficit to two only three. We have a game on our hands now, DK, as the economy for the T side starting to look a, a little bit worse for wear. And I do like the fact that Sinners play aggressive. Banana Control, of course, it is very dangerous. The flash without, it blinds him not at all, but, oh, but they do need to check their angles quickly. Zedko on site. There's going to be the piece coming through. Zedko, for, oh my god! Uh, pretty much give the info, and Jacob knows something funny's up. They're going to check him from behind, and that's the kill to come through. New first out from, well, I was going to say burst out from short, but they are in a bit of a slower situation. Now the retake comes through, and we need a better retake. Than one. Out towards short, and so they can peek right behind it. b does have a smoke, and he's going to throw it in towards pit, but the problem is he's got to be very careful. Another flash thrown out. And this is becoming problematic for the Sinners if they still want to retake this. It seems unlikely, and it seems that they just need to save their weapons. It took too long to start the retake, and they were pretty much um, dwindling with their thumbs for quite some time. Oscar with the AWP trying to save it, is on the run, gets himself one. Oh. No idea where the second was. <laughs> have a, a little bit more of a, uh, let's, let's say a better stead going into that second half. This round number 50, they're going to go somewhere towards B. The swing coming through, his grass faction to pick up the first, and already the amount of advantage gained. This could be a decider heading into that second half. Well, luckily there's still Neofrag left in the server, finds a double, makes it a on three, but Jacob, oh, Zedko still checks T-Ramp and gets the kill onto Jacob there. Making it a man advantage for the side of the sinners, so they can use Zedko pretty much as uh, the B-bomb side. Time is, of course, of the essence. Bentet waiting for a possible flash to peek through the smoke, and shock at stag taken down, making it a two-on-two, -two, and it's going to be all on Zedko, the lowest HP player, last man standing in a crossfire. Easy pickings for... Now let's see if they can get it done. Shock with the P250 in hand on the Sinner side. And that's why he picks up utility. Maybe an over-rotation from Extremum. And they're not at all falling for that aggression. No, not yet. But it's out of the pick of the first fry. The trade not quite found as well. The swing coming in. Information gained from Oscar on two. But it's oh, shocked to find no. Jacob from behind. Torn between two sides right now. Extremum, they're thrown into a bet. A, a, just guessing game right now and shock another headshot all uh, already on three oscar gets aggressive towards the a bomb site and this is pretty much exactly what happens one player starts rushing and because his teammates need to compensate for the fact that he got so aggressive the rest of them are also things up three rounds to three and well ben takes really something special i don't think he really has the time in the no kit in hand beastic finds the final their favor, but it means nothing if they get too close and personal with those Mac 10s. But you need to be careful. Look, Zedko pushing through mid shock finds Azur though, and the flash completely blinds Gratisfaction. They only have one A site defender right now. He's completely blinded in Big Pit as well. They overwhelm everything and everyone. Liaz is trying to stay alive for the time being. <laughs> the tags are there the entire time. The kills are just not coming through, and this is so painful if you look at the HP difference. So close every single time, but Extreme is going hunting though with low HP. He's got to be unbelievably crisp here. Bent is holding. Sure, he's going to find the frag with ease. He does, and especially if you take a look at the rest of that Extreme economy. It's a nice round from the Czech side. And well, we really do have a game on that. Play a little bit of an off angle, but forced away, Molly. Scares him off the angle, and there's going to be just a push through the smoke. Oh my god, smoke criminal in the server. He should <laughs> be arrested. That was nasty.
What a way to do it, just like the Man Advantage farm for Sinners already. We mentioned how they've been so hard to read on their T side. How do you read that? Swinging through, it's Azur to come in for the tr Maybe go for a quick rotation. The Az in big pit, and Azur trying to play towards short. There's going to be a double peak. They might line up, and they do, but Oscar does get the refrag, making it a three-on-three. -three. Quick rush from Benta. Definite steps have been heard. Zedko needs to be careful from his position because he can get shot from pit. There's Oscar finding Benta somehow towards long, and it's going to be all on to Grad's faction and Oscar. Both offers whiffing all their shots towards sure here now they're making their way through a little bit of damage expended on towards Benta. needs to be careful not to over extend the flashback brilliant and he's gonna be caught off guard jacob goes to spray oh but he still had a couple of bullets left in the mag so jacob finds a neo frag a four on four retake gonna happen momentarily utility for the ct for the terrorist side one singular smoke and an he grenade the cts definitely have enough to flush it out rush forward from Emphatic star is now, oh, it looks pretty rough to say the least. I can't see them getting back into this because their momentum and all the kind of... Because they played aggressive and that's... Okay, finally we get to see a little bit of aggression. Oscar expects something, but will fall back at, as her peaks a little bit too wide because there's three terrorists on the other side, which is going to surprise him a little bit there and we didn't have any backup. Lias goes for the solo peak and Shock kind of expects it, but still loses the fight. Man advantage has been dwindled back to an even score, but the HP definitely favors the Sinners. Yeah, for sure, here. what a shot from Grass Faction, though. Fully blind. He picks up the kill and tools B sticks to go swinging through. What's that? Goes looking for the trade. Bent hell find the frag and Grack finds another. Oh my god, they're making this work. They love Mirage. You've seen them play. And as you mentioned, you know, Mirage is a map that everyone knows to a pretty decent degree. But Sinners, their control on Mirage is unreal. And Zenko has picked up another frag to open things up and already got the man advantage. Oh, they walk through the smoke again. What a surprise. Azur needs his teammates flash for Liaz throws it out. But now Liaz needs to be careful himself. The shock is creeping in, but there is going to be the peak from Bouncy creeping in towards CT right now. Through Arches, Gratis Faction might not expect this. Set. Go! Headshot. Bent at dead. Great read. Looking to aggress forward. If he finds Gratis Faction, that's the B-bomb site lost. They might actually just go for it right now. Zedko, is he going to check his angles? Well, this is so scary. Grabs faction. How wide is he going to peek? Spots the barrel, and that should be an easy kill. <laughs> it felt a little bit too uh, long on that trigger right there before he pulled it, but it is the kill secure. Now it's all on the S in a 1v3. Finds himself one. 15 seconds left on the clock. Can he hold on? Finds himself two. And now Oscar with the deagle. Headshot. 10 seconds left on the clock. Off. V, well, actually, Gratis Faction picks up the AK and said, rushes towards the site. Oscar with the deagle in hand. Will he find the kill? Gratis Faction with the headshot extreme and win another round. And who that went down to the wire. That really went down right to the end. Heavy stack on towards that A bomb site, but where are they coming through? That's the problem. Gratis Faction walking through the smoke and a close range headshot onto B stick falls back. 20 seconds left on the clock. Zedko on the other side of the smoke, but three on site. It could be very problematic. Neofrag walks in, but oh, he doesn't find anything. He at least finds information where the CTs are, but nine seconds left on the clock, and the round is over. They're just going to save the AWP and the AK. And Extremum holds strong, not losing a single soul. Yeah, not losing a single. But could also work against them as they take nade damage. There's going to be pushed forward. Liaz is blinded. Perfect flash coming out. But Azur on site finds three, though. Liaz still on the balcony. No one checking that angle. Will find the last two. Full house for Azur. Coffins for the three man peak if necessary. And close range. Benjet, the peak comes in. He finds himself oh, three. Make that four. No. Looking for the ace. Oscar on the other side. And just like that, oh my god, tears them apart. He wants that ace. He's juicy for the ace, but Oscar yes, is going to get shot from behind. Oh, where oh. is he? Azur actually gets taken down by Oscar. He's going to go for his own little uh, clip. It does seem very unlikely here. Neo guy, that, that's going to be uh, possible. That's ridiculous. What a spray down as well. It's grass Oh my god, the timing was so close. But unfortunately, Zedko rushes forward towards long close range. Azur doesn't expect them. Zedko finds a double. Takes on Grass Faction as well. They spot the player out towards the balcony. Peeks out wide. Diaz gets himself a kill, but it's only one at the moment. The bomb's going to get planted, and this is looking right now, Neokai. Just a wild yeah. guess that this might just hit OT. 
What a surprise. Are we seeing a Relog Media Tournament? No, never. Well, yeah, we're going... Well, looks like we're going to OT, unless we can see something special here. The Rotate coming through. The gun battle spot. Oscar's because where he finds the frag. One more to find. Library. Jacob has got to find a dream here. There's going to be... What looks to be some uh, banana aggression. Extreme Mem holding behind. But that needs to be careful. But he finds the kill. Does get traded out. Molly to keep them at bay. And they rush through the smoke. Stay alive. Which is uh, honestly not happening a lot of the time. Would that be bomb side? The boost came through. But Neofrag gets the... Well, refrag. Making it a man advantage. Still for Extreme Mem on the retake. But the Sinners have the bomb planted. And they have Oscar on his trusted AWP. Great Neofrag even finds Gratisfaction, who seems to have missed an up shot, but Oscar's not going to miss the flick, putting Azur in a 1v2. Not a very great situation. And the, the peak, nothing as of yet, but a flashbang trying to catch him off. No kill as of yet, but they're going up towards A. Rush Ooh. for Exactly here, and well, Gratisfaction, he is holding a little bit more aggressive. Will Oscar clear this? In a tight angle. Have to check, they should know. Pretty much guess what gratisfaction is. The problem is they don't have a smoke left anymore. Run boost. Cross comes through and shock with the op finds gratisfaction. A three on three situation ensues. No smoke for the cross. Bent that peeks in. Finds one, but there's the trade immediately by Neofrag. And the yeah, it's a very dangerous position to get the bomb plant in without any position. Spotting but not finding the frag. He has to do a little bit of damage, but not finding the kill himself. As they're making their way through the proof. As a spams it, he could find something. That's always uh, dangerous with the smokes to dissipate Azur. He's getting some backup though, but Gratisfaction gets caught trying to uh, fall back after throwing some utility to help out his teammate on the site. They've already crossed in. They can get the bomb plant in, but Liaz finds shock there. Tries to fall away after the molly was thrown in. Neofrag, and of course it's Neofrag that gets the refrag, making it a two-on-two. -two. These are the players that you want on the server to get it done. Neofrag and Oscar versus Jacob and Bentet. The two best Arguably best players on both teams who will be able to be successful. They're going to go for quick boost. Peek over the smoke. They spot him out. Oscar oh. doesn't notice the boost to come through. And Neofrag close range with the AK in hand. Overwhelmed by Jacob and the round win for Extreme. Yeah, well, that was a battle, as you mentioned, of a... The four plays you highlighted at the start. Move coming. Uh, Extreme definitely should know something's up, considering Zedko is that far forward. They will... who still have that one round advantage and shock. He's pushed a little bit aggressive into his apps. Yeah, this is a tight angle. They cross in. He finds... Actually, he doesn't find one. He has kills off Jacob there. Shoots right through his teammate, but it is the sight loss. And a three on four retake, favoring the Extreme M side. To try and hold strong, but it's still Oscar, Neofrag, and P Stick left on the server, so they need to find these quick, clean kills. Yeah, it needs to be clean here, and the tag coming through as well. B Stick on low HP, but Neofrag to find the first frag. Dropping Gratisfaction Orb on a commission. They're swinging through the track. They're retake here, but do you have enough time? Answer and Leah's picking oh. frags around, but Oscar, oh my gosh, do they have time? It's so close. Well, he's gonna get finished off. They're playing with the double AWP setup on the center side. Not something they have ran too much on there, uh, just in general. Neither of the two teams boost anymore. However, this is always dangerous if you try to cross in. They are rotating on the CT side. Look at that. Oscar's already on the flank with the op. Ooh. Finds the kill on Talias. This is some heavy aggression. Can't really get themselves back. It's two kills secured. B6 still hidden. Gratisfaction finds Oscar. Oh no. But the bomb plant, they need to be careful here with that bomb plant. The e spots in both. Kills the first, but the refrag is there, and that's going to be the bomb planted securely and safely. Shock and a 1vt retake. Yeah, the crossfire is so good as well. They've got so many angles cleared. Shock needs to be wary of Orange as well. When it weak more, and then they manage to take their own map pick in their favor, but will Sinners be giving that towards their opponents? Vented hiding inside the smoke. Flag comes out. Instead of face tank them, and that's going to be the four on four retake for the time being. That's going to come through. It is the last round anyway. So, such a big factor here. These post plants are already being set up, and well, this is a real opportunity now. They're trying to make the way, but the plants are just everywhere. Grass faction will pick the first. Look at them making second as well. It's Oscar to find the trade on towards JK. But the kills are coming through. Oscar with his deagle in hand. Will it get done though? As are getting aggressive in apps. 
Shock on the other side. It is going to be a one for one trade so far. Azur still trying to find the kill, but has to go for the reload. Neofrag, of course, who else but Neofrag gets the double kill, rushes towards the bomb site, but still on site is bent at. Immediately traded out though, and it's going to be a three on a two situation. Extreme and pushing towards the site. He has with a quick hit. gush through the oh. wall, but it does nothing to be sick. He gets. Boost in to window. Oscar running through mid with a gun you don't see too often. As it finds the opening pick onto Zed, good. Yes, but you're talking about danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> you can bunny hop across the map in that game mode. Hey, when we let's make it happen, eh? The teams that we can probably get, not gonna be the greatest. <laughs> Bent it with a double, swaps over towards the HE, nade damage comes in, Oscar gets heavily tagged, it's a two on two situation. Grand faction with the scout, quick peek, oh! That Ooh. actually gets the kill onto Oscar there. And on site, it is gonna be B stick and 1v2 headshot from Leah as they stay alive. And we're losing that four spike, they were set back quite a bit now, and it's extreme with a two round advantage. And Crest faction already picking up that oh. first goal, that two as well. Well, that's not a great start here for the side of uh, the Sinners. A little bit in trouble at the moment. Jacob goes for the wide peak, spots the bomb, drops it out into the open. Neofrag at least gets a refrag, but it is going to be gratis faction. Three kills with the AWP and well. Map number one, and both of these guys pushed it so over time. So I don't want to count anyone as of yet, especially when Oscar's picking up frags of that until Jacob. What a way to open the faction that's going to be falling back. Boost comes up, Azur spots out shot, gets the kill. The trade comes through. Dueling Neofrag, always a very dangerous thing to do. But Zedko through the smoke on the head of Azur and the man advantage back in favor of the Sinners. Yeah, and with uh, four versus three Sinners, it's all off the back of that opening kill. That's the way to start things off. Can they finish in the same manner? Leo's finding one. Will he be? It's going to be problematic, but the three man stack towards that A bomb site might be a big surprise here. Leo's with the headshot. B sick dead. Bomb dropped. 25 seconds, have, they have to run quickly. Gratis Faction finds Neofrag and it's all on to Zedko, who peeks forward, but does not even expect Benta to be hiding on, on the T. So they are a fairly CT-sided team when it comes to Mirage. That's always okay. a statistic that you need to keep in mind. Oscar does find yes. the opening one on to grab. Will Jacob catch them off guard there? He's gonna go for the aggressive peek through mid. Oh, shock taken down. Zedko close range, but he's not apps to hit that site. The scope might have been heard by Bentet. It's getting dangerous. Jacob executes Neofrag. And now it's Zedko to try and creep inside jungle. No one is actually keeping an eye on it though. And Zedko could absolutely be perfect. But Bentet drops the uh, uh, the player. Beastick is dead. Zedko waits for Azur to cross through. All of the this. CTs to cross through. This is oh some actual... God. Discipline right now, but Oscar's already dead and Zedko. It's a perfect play, but the problem his team is already completely dead 15 seconds left on the clock nice attempt here But it's literally just a quick tap to the face all his work that dwindles into nothing because the B bomb site was held Solidly by the side yeah, of the team just too little too late, wasn't it? It was a nice idea to sneak in behind it. It actually could have worked very well. Help him out if necessary, and it looks like they're going to go for that B execution. Towards short, Zedko finds Bentet, and now it's becoming problematic. Hazard, no, he doesn't have the control. The kills are coming through, and it's going to be all sinners. The bomb site has been lost. They're looking to go for the play. Grass Faction rushing through into the Mali. Finds a double kill, though. They're putting himself in towards Shorby. He needs to, I mean, look at the time. They need to be really careful here. They actually have a kit in hand, but they need to make their way onto a side. Jacob, good for the first one towards B stick. They need to clear apartments, especially with Neofrag tucked in towards Black Killer. And I think now it's just a little bit too little, too late. They're trying to cause damage, so they'll go down after time, but bomb goes off. Neofrag does drop, but it does not matter. It's an extreme we've been playing. I wouldn't count on it. And now let's see. Uh, oh, Grads Faction. Close range finds one, but they just quickly rushed out forward, and the kills favoring this T side. Sinners, okay. Brute force their way in, and Extreme and completely not ready after such a long pause. It's as if finding at least a kill. WP from Oscar. Time is ticking down, and it is of the essence. The bomb is really not planted for them either, and it's going to be bent at. Taken down with a white peak from Oscar. 6 3. Well, let's uh, see if those ops can get it done. Oscar again finds the opening pick, takes down Grand Peak, comes through. They are not expecting it. Bentet towards the B bomb site. The Molly burns right behind him. He can't find a connection, and that's going to be the kill secured. The site lost. Azur pushes through. 
mark it and that's just the round quickly in hands of sinners and this is the aggression that we love to see from the czech squad Exactly, with the bomb down as well. The five versus two. Just keeping the weapons to the next one is the real priority. But Jacob says, no, nah, I'm going aggressive. Finds the first. Can he make it even more expensive? That's actually a big factor here. But jumping in towards lower. Okay, now Jacob, now double back. Flashbang will be dropped as he attempts to fall away. And it catches Beastly perfectly. Allowing it to reposition and pick up the kill. Look at double up as well when he finds it. Brilliant stuff. And Jacob has made this a very, very expensive round for the T side. They do pick up a fourth. But at what cost? It's only two or many players surviving into the next. Yeah, it is, uh, however, still the T-sided round in single mid-play or ramp push or any flanks to speak of this game. And Gratis Faction does find the pick because Neo Frag just rushes up towards Short No, and going for a flash play to blind him off the angle. That's just the, that slight little additional play that you need from your teammates. Just a decent amount of utility, so... Can't count them out for the time being. Zeko looking to swing through, but left eye peeking. He's always going to favor Azza there, and he's going to find the frag. Just that, it's shot, and Oscar left with it all to find. In a matter of seconds, they have been deleted. He's a tenth on the ball. <laughs> yeah, completely against the run of play. It's going to happen. Now, Leas tucks into his under. He needs to be careful here. Leas frag finds the first, and so it's Jacob. Oh. Hey, a second towards Gratis Faction. And it's the Deagle to find the kill on towards Leas. Just like that, we can <laughs> prove right. We are fortune tellers. Yep, I kind of expected it to happen. It is going to be uh, most certainly a 10 to 5 scoreline, which is honestly not the end of the world for Sinners, especially if they win the pistol round. They're going to really need to win that pistol round. Bentet finds at least one kill, but the trade is there immediately for Oscar. Smoke about to dissipate. Oscar manages to get him. Up, let's say. P250 on Bentet, the rest on Glax. And it's uh, Leah's actually finally looking for yet another pick. With the man advantage, though, they can just trade here. Just play the trade, and the frag forced off in towards jungle as Jacob's pick up the kill into a shot. Uh, the push oh. coming forward, but Azer finds Neofrag, and it's a four on two. It's not looking great for Sinners. The site has been lost. They don't have a kit on them at the moment. There is one towards Ticket Booth, so it is recoverable. But Zedko needs to find this quick headshot, otherwise the retake's going to be very problematic, though they have planted it very deep in the back. The bomb, however, they do have a smoke on the CG side, and Oscar's going to cover the bomb, or so he thinks. Will he go for the full stick that he fused? Zedko's trying to play distraction. Oscar, ninja, ninja, ninja! And he gets oh. the defuse! Sinner somehow in the round with an absolute beast a ninja from Oscar and just crossing in. Neofrag does need to be careful for a flash. That's why he's ducking the entire time. Gets spotted out and he's going to creep into connector. So the site is lost or is it? The bombs actually dropped out in Shock's vision and the rotation from the CTs comes through. Extreme have forgot to go for the pounds here. And they never even got the bomb plant in. So this is a problematic situation considering there's no more utility for the terrorist side. Peeking out into the open. They know where Neofrag is inside connect. As is going to aggress forward. But still Neofrag gets a double kill. Even though they know... Bentet expecting Oscar close range. But will he actually expect him close range? Again with that MP. Five finds the kill, gets the AK upgrade, but Azur in the meantime found Neofrag, which is a big kill to secure. He has long range, knows exactly where, of course, Oscar is playing from, but there's more on the site. That's going to be shock, and they even have backup from Zedko nearby as well. The bomb has dropped towards ramp, out of control, out of reach for the terrorists. The nade from shock even blowing up Azur. And this is problematic extreme M. They're struggling at the moment. Beastick peeks in from jungle, gets a double, and that's going to be sinister. Left eye peek, he technically has the favor as he's right eye peeking. Resmoking towards ramp as well. Stopping the aggression come through, and it's Jacob and Ben does the pick of the first two frags. Okay, quick one, two pounds. Oscar AWP loses against Gratis Faction, and the A site is lost. CT should probably just call it a save at this point. Because there's not much you can really gain from this, especially Z47. Because, obviously, not something that you can pick up. But with five, all five remaining players for Extreme M, pick up. Un uncharacteristic for their CG at the moment. Quick mid-aggression coming through. Peek through. Neofrag finds one, tries to find a second. But he falls back in towards Connector before any more harm comes through. Actually, Neofrag gets gratisfaction. Jumping around Connector. Gets overwhelmed while he's going for the reload. 
making it a one-man advantage. Still in favor of Sinners, but Bentet might go for the surprise action here. Crossing forward, Azur takes down Oscar. All of a sudden, Shock is the only A bombsite defender. He's gonna go for the peak, but there's Bentet and Sandwich. Bentet loses the fight, but there's again Shock with the. Uh, sorry, As but how is he gonna play this one out? They don't know exactly where he's playing from. And they're actually crawling towards that B bombsite. Azer with a quick clean headshot. Four could have gone for the timing shot, but it's looking like they're just going to cross towards short. Could be problematic, but Oscar Ooh. keeps an eye on the smoke. Azer tried to just crawl in. The B bombsite hit is going to come through. Quick rush forward. B stick and Jacob uh, Zetko. Sorry, can they hold? down at the fourth here no the peak from two angles is going to surprise him zed goes dancing around the smoke though onside runs in the molly just gets taken down almost completely by that molly luckily it was the headshot so it's not the end of the world but it is going to be a three on three so spotted him out actually Lias didn't spot out shock but they now know exactly where he is coming from the taps coming through the kill is there though but the problem is the rush through the smoke it's going to be all onto gratis faction in 1v1 trying to bait it out jumping through the pillar oh my god the oh, no scope is that? dangerous to play with that don't be a loser by a diffuser kind of situation but neofrag aggressing yeah. through towards mid gratis faction jumping across but Lias saves his teammate's life there great team play and that's going to be the man advantage picked up as are already creeping up towards CT mid control gain CT control gain and Azer is just gonna catch off guard B stick towards that B bomb site this is very problematic once he's dead the site is lost he gives the information to bent it and yeah exactly they can only save that AWP and the M4 uh, you know guy this is looking like it's just gonna be extreme I'm taking it 2-0 I know and it's, it's it's not how we expected we both called a a three mapper here, right? Both of these sides have been in brilliant form so far, and I didn't expect us to see it going this way at all. And Leah's actually going on. To him. He's aiming a little bit higher, and he doesn't really spot the leg. He seems to be tunnel focused in, and it's shocked to pick up the frag with the bomb going to go off anyway. And both players over towards here. It's better to find the frag, and that's on to Oscar. Can he keep his orb ticking over? Uh, that's a big question because uh, the terrorists have plenty of cash so they can go for the hunt. Oh, no, for no. The knife. Oh, I was really oh. hoping for the knife there just to Same. bring up. Some M4s to work with. Aggression in underpass. Might be a big one. Spray comes through. Zedko with the MP9 gets this man. Gratisfaction. Same thing with the AWP. Beast that has to go huge. Does have to go huge. It finds the first. Grats in for the trade there. One more player in towards back. Pillar being another Zedko. But the swing for Oh, and as a. He actually just, well, essentially walks straight past Neofrag. And I had no idea, but shot to pick up the frag. Neofrag gets one of his own towards Ben Tet. And it's great satisfaction to shut down and pick up the trade. But he's got a lot to find in a one versus three. He's in the round. And only managed to find. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely agreed. Yeah, rest of all the Wait, what? And Jacob, did he, did Jacob just not see him? <laughs> but, well, it doesn't matter. He picks up the frag, I guess, in the end, which is the priority. But that was, that was strange. Okay, um... Oscar, nice quick scope in connector, but will they expect Zenko up on plat? Oh, that flash was perfect. Now it's going to be Zedko and B-Stick in a two. Oh, oh, oh Grand Faction, you oh. saw the scope just turn in the last second to check the angle. Long range, Liaz gets the last kill.